you know what? This is gonna be a start to my booktube vlog. Since I am home, since I've been staying at my parents for a while until they get back from the Philippines, I thought this would be a good time to check into my vlog as well as uh, film a vlog intro. So we're going to pretend I, whatever clips came after this, happened after this, but some of them did it. The next clips I um, am going to put in, which is when I started my next kind of vlog, is uh, kind of terrifying and I did not want to scare y'all. <laughs> What the heck was I reading when I filmed that? I don't even remember. I was reading something and I had on a face mask and it um, looked like a penguin. I <laughs> It just looked a little terrifying. So I'm cheating a little bit and filming a little intro. You know what? This is going to be a start to my booktube vlog. If you don't know anything about the booktube games, I'm linking down below my TBR for the booktube games, which is month-long read-a-thon which is a competition, um, there's groups you sign up for and we're all competing to read the most pages. Um, I'll link my TBR where I explain the games a little bit, but I'll also link Mayana from Little Wolf Read who created this whole thing. I'm gonna link that down below. I'm hoping to do a weekly vlog. It's gonna be hard because like I said, I'm gonna be at my parents' house. It's kind of hard to film there. Like the lighting sucks and it's not the prettiest. Hopefully check in a few times back at home or you'll just get a sloppy vlog. That is what it is. I'm trying to read a lot of books y'all like I'm not gonna be having time to like film all the time but I like doing little reactions and stuff like that so we shall see so without further ado I'm just gonna start this vlog and we are gonna see where it goes I apologize ahead of time because this looks absolutely terrifying but your girl got her penguin face mask on and I'm listening to Fury Born an audiobook and it is so freaking good I was so caught off guard I love this little like mustache look it's given me. Mm. What's up, babe? Mm-hmm. I'm vlogging. I'm not talking to you. What are you <laughs> Did you just touch my face? <laughs> okay, but seriously, this audiobook is so freaking good. I did not have super high expectations going into this book. And I am loving it so far. It's hard to talk with this on. Okay, I'm gonna keep listening. I just came back from an awesome book signing where I got to meet my uh, friend Amanda and we saw, oh my god, let me grab the books, oh my god. Oh, I don't know where they are. Give me one sec. Also, you guys are gonna get this Snapchat filter because I look awful and I feel awful. I was sick all weekend. I think I have like a stomach bug or something. And I've just been miserable the past couple days, and I'm surprised I even went to this book signing. But I persevered and I went. Um, it was for the A Curse So Dark and Lonely book signing um, by Bridget Kemmer. And it was really awesome because today's the 28th, and the book doesn't technically come out till tomorrow. So it was cool that she kicked off her tour a day before. So got to buy it a day before even though I'm not gonna start reading it it's the third book I plan to read for the booktube games in February and what's really funny is the author that was with Bridget I was like mm, I hate not knowing the other author and Amanda pointed out that it was the author of the Luck series and I own and have read and enjoyed that series so thankfully she said something because then I got all my Lux um there's two other ones. My Lux book signed by Jennifer. What is her name? Jennifer Armentrout. And she was hilarious. It was a really fun signing. Um, but it's like so tempting to pick up A Curse of Dark and Lonely, even though I know I have to wait until February. to go to work and I'm so annoyed that I'm not in bed but it is February 1st so it is the first day of the booktube games and I'm old and wasn't up at midnight to start reading at midnight so I woke up a little bit earlier than usual which means I just woke up on time if I could start Sock Hill Girls by Claire Legrand um, the team Ketterdam group book it's not a book I would usually read I'm about three chapters in but I am enjoying it so far. The story's it's captured me and I'm gonna listen to it or read it regardless. 
because it's the group book, but I actually am pretty interested to finish getting ready for work. So that's my update for the start of the games. We'll see how that goes. Trying not to bust my ass because it is slippery as hell out here. <laughs> update I am 10 or so chapters into Sawkill Kill Girls obviously I can't read while I'm at work but this morning I was listening to the audiobook and as soon as I got off of work I started listening to the audiobook I am enjoying it so far it isn't something I would normally have picked up so it's kind of exciting that I'm giving it a try and that it's kind of forcing me to read something out of my comfort zone listening to God's Grave by Jay Kristoff the second book in the like that Nevernight series and I wasn't planning on reading it yet but I got the notification saying that my hold for the audiobook um, was ready, so I had no choice but to start it. And so I'm going to have to put that on hold uh, either again or finish Saw Kill Girls before I have to return Nevernight so I can try to read that. Then I just got a notification that another book I put on hold is available, so it's kind of stressing me out. I think a couple books I have on hold are supposed to be available in February. So I really need to finish the books I said I was going to finish so I have time to read those too. But we will see. I'm trying not to be stressed about the booktube games and just read what I can, listen to what I can, and call it a day. I just set this up. Mm -hmm. Now I have to pee. <laughs> So it is still February 1st for another 15 or 20 minutes and I just finished Saw Kill Girls. I rated it 3.5 out of 5 but on Goodreads I'll just put 4. Uh, oh my god. Damn, you didn't read something a 5? I don't rate everything 5. Oh, okay. <laughs> I rate everything 4 or 5 and I rated it a 4 even though it's really a 3.5. It is, because they don't let you do half ratings, uh -oh. and I'm not going to give it a three. Gotcha. And I really enjoyed it. Sorry. He's like, surprised I didn't mark something a five. That's just rude. I can mark things not a five. <laughs> um, I'm taking off my makeup because I'm ready for bed. But I really enjoyed the book. Uh, the reason it's a 3.5 and not like a straight up four or a five is because the plot was very meh for me. There's a lot of aspects I did like. I love I love the characters. I love the rep. I love the writing. I knew I was gonna like the writing though because I really liked Furyborn. So I already expected to like the writing. But I really like the writing. But the plot and the intrigue in the beginning kept me going. So I really liked the creepy aspect. Like it just had a creepy feel to it, especially listening to the audiobook. And the plot, like the mystery of the plot, kept me really interested. So towards like the last half or the last third really I just didn't really care for the plot so that's why it's not that high of a rating I believe I'm going to read King of Scars tomorrow I need to pick it up at Barnes and Noble but I'll probably do the same thing I did with Sock Hill Girls where I listen to the audiobook and physically read I feel like I get through books much faster when I do a combo of the two and then we're off to a great start so I finished one book which was um, 450 pages so I get to double that challenge for the booktube game since that was our group book our group book for the week I don't know I can't talk right now it's so late so I got to put that I read 900 pages I completed a challenge and if I can read a book a day this is this is gonna be good good morning so I am on my way to work it is February 3rd um, this is my new part-time job, so can't read as much as I want on Sundays anymore. But yes, I don't know if I updated the vlog yesterday, but I had read all of King of Scars yesterday. I'm pretty sure I had a reaction to that. If I don't, I can wrap it up later. <laughs> Between last night and this morning, I actually finished the last half of God's Grave by Jake Kristoff. Holy shit, guys. That ending was 
wild. Like, I literally just finished it this morning while I was getting ready to head into work and I'm just like, what the fuck? That was a crazy ending. If you guys don't read the Never Night series by Jay Kristoff, reevaluate what you're doing and put it on your TBR and just get to it. It is so freaking good. Tonight, I plan on either starting A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer or um, The Poppy War. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I might start The Poppy War on audiobook and then A Curse So Dark and Lonely, the physical copy because I don't think we have an audiobook yet. But for two right now for starting and completing a book, if I can read a whole book every day this month, y'all better watch out. I doubt it though. I think I'm just like off to a good start. And since it's like the weekend, it was easier to do it, but we shall see. So I usually try to wear my dad hats to cover up how awful my hair is, but it's not helping. It still looks really freaking bad. <sighs> Casually listening to the poppy war while I'm working. I just started and finished this, and I cried twice, twice. This manga is so good. Okay, so Snapchat update. It is Tuesday evening. I am trying to physically read The Poppy War. I started it yesterday on audiobook. and got, um, it's broken into three parts, so I got to the first part yesterday. Um, I just tried reading like two paragraphs and was super confused because I've been listening to it. And so I have no idea how some of these names are spelled. And I just, I feel kind of illiterate right now. So I'll probably read a couple chapters physically, then go back to the audiobook. I'm really loving it so far. I've heard some really mixed reviews about the Poppy War. Really hyped reviews, as well as people saying it was underwhelming, or just not liking it in general. So I didn't have too high expectations, but I really love it. Hopefully I keep enjoying it. I just wasted over an hour of my evening editing my January wrap-up that I hated. Like, I don't even think I described any book at all. I think I repeated the same phrase over and over again. It was awful. But my thumbnail was really cute, so I ended up uploading it anyways. But that's besides the point. Now, I wasted over an hour of reading time, which would have been a ton of pages since I listened to audiobooks at two times speed. I'm eating my snack, try to get more pages in and try not to be so freaking stressed. I'm gonna worry about that stupid video. I really, really hated it. I don't know why I uploaded it. I know it's because my thumbnail, but kind of having regrets. I cannot, for the life of me, remember the last time I updated. So I don't wanna sound redundant, but I think I made an update after the Poppy War. Finished that. Love that, four out of five stars. Um, I, since, that last night I read Monstrous, the graphic novel. Really liked that. I think I rated that five out of five stars. It was really good. Um, between yesterday and today, I started and finished Girls of Paper and Fire. Also really liked that. I'm digging this whole Asian fantasy thing, and it's just making me really happy. But really like that, four out of five stars. But what I'm starting tonight... A Curse of Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer. I have been waiting so long to start this book. It's one of my most anticipated reads for the year. I went to the signing. Um, the, the signing I went to was the day before his release, and I wanted to read it then. But I had, but I had already planned out reading Saw Kill Girls first, and then King of Scars. And then I was going to read this, but my library app rented me Girls of Paper and Fire, and I was not expecting that for, like, three to four more weeks, so it caught me off guard, but I wanted to read that and finish it before it was due, because if I didn't, then it, I'd have to put it on hold again, and it would take another, like, month or so, but now I can finally read this. I'm so excited. I'm literally 14 pages in and really enjoying it. I know I'm not trying to get, my hopes are really high. There's no, there's no hope for, like, trying to, like, go in with low expectations. My hopes are high, so I hope it lives up to my expectations. Okay, I don't think this one's a voice changer, so hopefully it's not as annoying. But 
your girl is kind of killing it. It is January 6th, and I have read seven books. So I'm really proud of myself. Um, obviously, a couple of them were graphic novels. One was a manga, so those are going to just read quicker. But I'm really proud. The only thing is, so the amount of pages I've been reading day to day varies greatly, anywhere from like 200 something to like 700 something. Um, but my anxiety has been kind of high this past week, and I'm definitely. It's definitely related to the booktube games. So I'm going to try not to put so much pressure on myself. I'm like, I keep getting like really stressed if I don't at least hit 500 pages. And that's just so unrealistic to do every day this month. So I'm going to try not to be as crazy and just be happy with whatever I read. But I just have a feeling after February, I'm just so competitive, I can't help it. But after February, I know I'm just going to try to have a very relaxing reading month because I can't do this to myself. Also, I do apologize. I know, like, Snapchat quality is not great, and those, I just realized Future Me is going to be so irritated with editing the videos and listening to that high-pitched voice changer, and I'm just so sorry, but I just really hate myself without makeup and the lighting at my parents' house, and I found that's why I'm not updating my vlog as much because I just feel like I look so freaking gross and the snapchat filters are just making me feel better so I'm sorry if it's annoying I'm gonna keep trying to use filters that don't change my voice and it's all high pitch or whatever but I just hate looking at myself without makeup so there's that so it is Friday January 7th I think I can never keep track of the days I'm a little past halfway of A Curse of Dark and Lonely. I'm loving it so much, you guys. Ugh. I just... I don't, I don't remember the last time I read a book just by itself. Like, usually I listen to audiobook or I do both. I read a physical book and do audiobook, so I go back and forth. But they don't have an audiobook for this. And I started it yesterday. And I love it so much. And it feels good to like sit down and read a physical book so I might try to do that some more this month this book hasn't made me cry yet which is like pretty normal for the first book in a series to get me really emotional but I I was tearing up a little bit a couple minutes ago and Ren the main character was talking about his younger sister but anyways this book I'm loving and I, I think it's because like if people read it it's gonna feel like a really easy read and I just, I needed that. I haven't had that in a while. But it's making me feel a lot of things. Like, I'm literally laughing out loud at a lot of parts. I'm feeling sad and emotional. I'm making little noises while I read. This book was so good. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna reread it. Like, I rarely reread books. And usually it's like a year or so apart. But I already want to reread it. Oh my god. It's so good. It is exactly the book I needed. I don't know what it is about it. Like the way the story was. I just, or the fact that I love retellings. Or it was just so sweet. And I just needed that. <sighs> would die for these characters. I love them so much. Definitely one of my favorite reads of the year so far which I know it's only February and like the beginning of February but I've read a lot of books so I've given a few five star reads this year already but definitely my favorite so far is like the Nevernight Chronicles by Jay Kristoff, A Curse of Dark and Lonely, and The Gilded Wolves. I've like pretty much loved almost every book I've read so far but those are like the the standout I really really love. Well, it looks like I'm going to end this vlog through Snapchat because once again, I was too lazy to wear makeup today, but your girl just bought a new coat and I'm feeling it. It's so big and fluffy. So I think I'll end with a mini haul and then kind of wrapping up all the pages and books I read. Um, maybe not all the books, but we'll go day by day. I just went to Second and Charles, which is one of my favorite used bookstores. I'm pretty sure they're owned by Books A Million. Bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight books, and it only came to $40. So I'm not, I don't think it was too crazy. So the first three books I got were 
the infernal devices. Oh my god, I can't hold it and film. Hold on. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> my hand's not big enough. Okay, anyways. I own these three in hardcover already, but uh, it's my favorite Shadowhunter book series. I just got caught. Man, you gonna get that camera? You own the books already. You gotta buy them. <laughs> because you own, that, you own them in hardcover. But I don't own this edition with the the thing. I showed you these pa the yeah, um, you have spines. Them in hardcover already. It's literally my favorite series from Your Cassandra Clare. Always, I don't have it in hardcover, but you have those in the hardcover. <laughs> the filter's on you right now, and it's giving you dangly earrings. <laughs> The next set I do not own in hardcover yet, or at all. It's books three through six in the um, in the Mortal Instrument series, and it's the same spine. I already own the first two, City of Bones and City. I've read all of these, and I cannot tell you what the freaking titles are called. But I got three through six. That whole series I completely own now in that paperback. I don't own the hardcover. And then I bought Now I Rise, which is the sequel to And I Darken, which I read last month, so I'm really excited. Um, like I said, I got all these books total, like $40. So that was my mini haul, and I guess I'll finish with kind of going over um, how I've um, been reading this past week. Okay, so I just pulled up my Twitter, because if you don't follow me, you should. But I've been keeping track daily of the books I finished for the day, the pages I read, and if I um, ch um, completed the challenge for the week, because it's weekly. So on day one, I finished, I started and finished one book. I it was Saw Kill Girls, the group book. So I read 450 pages and I completed the challenge. Day two, I finished, I started and finished a book. I read 527 pages and I just say that I completed a challenge because if I did it for the week, I'm just going to count it. Day three, I finished two books, read 788 pages. Um, I think that was probably my best reading day uh, this week. Day four, I didn't finish a bo any books and I only read 230. That was my l worst day this week. Uh, day five, I finished two books and I read 556 pages. Day six, I finished a book and read 452 pages. Day seven, which was yesterday, I finished a book and I read 442 pages. Today, I don't think I'm going to get over 400. I might, um, but I'm trying to finish Battle Royale, which I started yesterday, and I'm really enjoying it, so I hope I finish that. So that was my reading week. My February wrap-up is probably when I'll go over every single book I read. But the books that I did complete were seven total. Five of them were novels, one was a manga, and one was a graphic novel. So I just pulled up the booktube games uh, Google Doc. So as of yesterday, I have read 300, 300, 3,895 pages, which is kind of insane, and I'm really proud of myself. But the frickin' <laughs> page tracker makes me so sad because I know Ketterdom, my team, has the most people, so I know we have a lot more pages, but we have, like, not the highest average. We're behind Camp Half-Blood, so we just got, we got to do better. I'm still very proud of us, but we got to keep going, guys. Like, it's killing me a little bit that we're so close to being number one. I know we're number one in pages read, but I'm pretty sure at the end of the month it will come down to average. So we got this, okay? We got this. We have a good head start. Let's keep going. It is now time for me to take off this jacket because it is very warm, and it's very warm in this house, so it doesn't really, like... So it does not feel very comfortable right now because I'm getting kind of hot. That's it for this vlog, guys. See y'all next time. I think that's how I'm going to end my vlog.